Welcome to your weekly US news update. It, how do I do this again? It's been a while. Like, well. We have four stories for you this week. Amazon loses their head of safety and flight operations. The FAA and NASA conduct UTM field test. Skybrise introduces paper model. And then finally, the FPV Freedom Coalition releases a FRIA map. Let's get to it. And your first story this week is Amazon yet again, who keeps losing people. Uh, Sean Cassidy, the head of safety, flight operation and regulatory affair, has reportedly left the company. Uh, Cassidy was a former Alaska airline pilot. He joined Amazon in 2015 to assist with the uh, primary program, went all the way through uh, the approval process with the FAA. Uh, Amazon received their Part 135 certificate in August of 2020, and then they started to do delivery only this year. Uh, over the last year, Amazon has had a number of layoffs, including one in January, and then they lost a number of key players, including now Cassidy. Uh, Amazon hasn't really uh, released any statement at this stage or the status of their deliveries uh, in the past few months, but we'll keep you posted if we hear any updates. And next up this week is the FAA and NASA that have conducted a UTM field test. Now, if you're not familiar with the concept of UTM, it's unmanned traffic management. It's a system that will allow UAS operators to reserve a portion of the airspace for a particular amount of time in specific types of airspace. Now, you can also watch the video here that we uh, made on this topic for a bit more information. Now, these reservations would assist with deconflicting uh, between UAS that are traveling at or below 400 feet in uncontrolled controlled airspace. The test included flights of varying complexity levels, uh, verifying standards, evaluating the UTM system, and then testing the FAA integration with the uh, USS, the unmanned service supplier. That's what USS stands for. And then they were also testing real-world application of all these systems working with one another. Uh, the data collected for the UTM field test is expected to be used with policymakers uh, in order to enable low-altitude operation, uh, specifically those that will operate beyond visual line of sight. Now, if you'd like to read the full report, we'll put a link down in the description. And yes, I did mention in this uh, in this story that uh, the FAA wanted to do this for uncontrolled airspace, which is something that I have a little bit of trouble understanding at this stage. Now, I can see all of this working in complex airspace where you would need to get airspace approval in the first place. Uh, but in uncontrolled airspace, uh, I have uh, a bit a bit harder time uh, picturing how this would actually work uh, in just plain open airspace. And third up this week is a good news from Skybras, who is now offering a paper model version of the software. Uh, the models start at just $3 per model, and then they vary based on the size of the video file. Uh, if you're not familiar, Skybras creates uh, mapping based on video files instead of photos like most software out there. Uh, the paper model will allow you to unlock features like download and measurements uh, that are not available in their freemium subs subscription plan. Uh, this works with also older models. We have been able to pull out a model from 2021 and then we're able to access all of the tools. All right, and last up this week is a map of all the free yes. That's right, we have been waiting for this for a long time, but surprisingly, it's not coming from the FAA. Uh, the UAS facility map at the moment does not contain the free information. So uh, Alex Suarez from the FPV Freedom Coalition has decided to create a map of his own that contains the location of all the approved FRIAs. The map is color-coded to differentiate between the four CBOs and for the uh, F. PV Freedom Coalition, the FTCA, the STEM C Fryer, uh, they have precise boundaries. So great job, Alex, on this one. We'll put a link down in the description. Make sure you go take a look. And uh, if you want to find out where your free as actually exist, and yes, the data comes from the FA, it's just not uh, being displayed by the FA on their website. All right, and that's all we got. I hope you have a great weekend. We'll see you for the Monday Live next week. And then also last week, I was on vacation, as you uh, could have seen. Uh, we had a, a YouTube follower that watches a lot of our videos, Wolfpack4694. He asked the team if they would make a video talking about how mean I am. Uh, the thing is, I'm not really that mean, at least I don't think. So they had to make stuff up. Uh, but let's just say that they had a little bit too much fun with it. So stay here, watch the end of it, and then we'll see you next week. Are we going to do a video explaining how mean Greg is? The answer is yes. Welcome to the unfiltered review of Greg. What is the hardest thing about working with Greg? Probably his chocolate obsession. There's rappers everywhere. Like, how did they even get there? It drives me crazy. He's always running off to play pickleball, but honestly, he's the worst pickleball player I've ever seen. The hardest thing about working with Greg? Oh, 
I'm excited. How much time do you have? I mean, I'll be here for hours. The vaping. Can't walk two feet in this office without a cloud of kiwi straw nana on your face. It's a bit excessive. He farts a lot. Overkill with the safety. Can't get two steps up a ladder without two spotters and a life vest on. I mean, a lot. Wow, this is Greg's chair. He's always eating. Uh, first breakfast, he has a first lunch, then he has a second lunch, and he has a snack afterwards. The seat is very warm. And before lunch, he has a pre-lunch. He always hits everything in one take. No, let's do that again. Let's do that again. It's actually quite amazing. My name is Greg. I'm an, my name is Greg. I'm an FAA flying. Hello, I'm Billy Kyle. I mean, the man literally cannot mess up. Ah, and a second breakfast, a lunch in between. We start work at eight. Earliest I ever see him is 8.05, sometimes 8.10, sometimes 8.45, sometimes he shows up the next day. He does like to sleep in. It's hard to get a hold of him before noon. And a pre-supper. And another thing, sometimes we ask to get crumble and Greg says, no. Sometimes I ask, can I go get crumble? Greg says, no. And sometimes I ask, can we just door dash crumble? And he says, Ben, whoa, don't kill me. <laughs> oh my God. Sometimes I ask if I could pay to deliver us crumble. He says, yeah, that'd be fine. But still, you know, 